Hey guys, in this video, I'm going over my Airsoft loadout. This specific loadout will be what I'm running at OpX in Fort Monmouth, New Jersey at the end of September. And I'll have a link in the description where you can purchase tickets for this event. And I'll also have links for everything that I mentioned in this video in the description and a coupon code for Amped Airsoft that you can use, which will give you 10% off your order. Starting off with my helmet, I run a replica bump helmet, which allows me to mount ear protection which are Howard Light Impact Sports. And what these allow me to do is amplify any quiet sounds such as people talking or footsteps and any loud sounds such as grenades going off, it will dim and it'll protect your ears. By mounting them to my helmet, I can adjust the height of the hearing protection, how high or low I want it to sit on the side of my head. And I can also rotate them to the side of my helmet to store them when I'm outside or there's not a lot going on. Moving on to the back of the helmet, I have a counterweight pouch which holds my battery. Now the battery can serve two purposes. It allows me to use it as a counterweight to the front of my helmet. Because my front of my helmet, I run my GoPro. So having the battery in the back, it just kind of balances out my helmet a little more. And it also is a 4400 milliamp battery. So it allows me to charge my GoPro all day. Now as you can see, I ran the wire underneath the flag patch and I have a custom drilled hole on the side of my camera case which allows me to charge the GoPro. Inside the helmet, I have upgraded memory foam pads. Moving on to my eye protection, I run Oakley M-Frames. These are the 2.0 version. And as you can see, I have a back strap installed and I also have the Helo Kit installed. Now installing the Helo Kit allows you to run these for Airsoft. The Helo Kit will provide you a full seal around your eye, which will prevent any BBs from entering your eye or entering into the glasses. For my plate carrier, I run a replica JPC. So this has already a built-in kangaroo pouch, which allows me to store three magazines. Then I have a Blue Force Gear Triple M4 mag pouch, which allows me to hold another three magazines. Now what I like about these Blue Force Gear pouches is that they're elastic. So when you pull out the magazine, they will sit flat against your plate carrier and they won't add any more extra bulkiness. For my magazines, I run KWA K120 mags. Uh, these mags are great, they feed great in my gun. And they also have the option to add Ranger, Magpul Ranger plates, which just allow you to pull them out of your pouches a little bit easier. Moving on to the lower part of my plate carrier, I run a Haley Strategic Dangler pouch. Now this just provides a little more protection to your stomach. You can also hold a suppressor in here or any pyrotechnics. Right now I have three EG67s, but you could easily have five or six in here. Grenades are all right. They have a tendency to break on impact, such as if you throw them too hard against a wall or the ground. Uh, they'll split and they won't be as effective or you could render them completely useless if you crush them when you're belly crawling or if you bump them into a wall. Moving on to the top right hand side of my plate carrier, I have an Elite Force Dead Rag. Now this Dead Rag is nice for when you have to walk all the way back to respawn when you're out of lives because you can Velcro it to the top of your helmet and you won't have to hold Red Rag there. But it is a little bit of a pain to reinstall back into the pouch. For my sling, I just run a generic one point sling. I'm thinking about picking up an LBX two point sling, but for right now, this will do. For my shoulder pads, I run HSGI shoulder pads. They're really nice shoulder pads. They have a rubbery, grippy uh, type feeling to them and they're pretty squishy. And they do provide a lot of added protection and support to your shoulders. For my belt, I'm running an HSGI slim belt. I have my dump pouch on here. I also have my holster for my KSC slash KWA G17. Now this is a really reliable pistol. As you can see, I've dropped it one too many times and my rear sight has fallen out. But other than that, it shoots perfectly fine. I also have an HSGI double decker pouch, which allows me to hold an M extra M4 mag and an extra pistol mag. For my shirt, I'm running a combat shirt by TrueSpec in Multicam. And as you can see, I got some patches on here. This is also where I store my bandages for when you get hit. You just call over a medic and the medic will take this out for you and they'll wrap it around your arm. As you can see, I have some Velcro installed on here so it's easier for the medic to revive me. For my pants, I'm running Cry Field Pants. These pants fit me really well and they also have the ability to have internal knee pads installed, which also adds an extra comfort and protection for your knees. For Milsim games that allow it, I have an M203 which I can mount to my Mark 18. As you can see, I have some tag rounds and a tag shell. These rounds are Reaper rounds, and these rounds will go off after three and a half seconds and explode and shoot BBs everywhere. Now, as you can see, if you look closely, these shells have little notches in them. These will actually twist into the rifling of the shell, and it will increase its distance, 
and also give it some better accuracy. Moving on to the back of my plate carrier, I run a modified mat pack, which I have folded the bottom so it does not sag off the bottom of my plate carrier. I also have a Condor radio pouch mounted to the side, which holds my Beofang radio, which will connect to a speaker mic and also will connect to my Howard lights. Inside my mat pack, I have my HPA rig, which is an amped custom 68 cubic inch tank. This is an SLP tank and also on top I have the SLP regulator. I really like this regulator because you can adjust the PSI really easily when you're chronographing and it's just a very simple regulator. For the BBs that I use, I use high powered airsoft BBs. I've been running these BBs at every Milsim op that I've been to since 2016. I haven't had any issues with them. They're very high quality BBs and they're 100% biodegradable. So if you go to any field or op that requires you to use biodegradable BBs, I'd highly recommend these BBs. They're very high quality and they just feed great in my gun. And I'll have a link in the description of this video where you can purchase them. For my boots, I just run Under Armour boots. I'll have a link where you can purchase these. And they're really light and they're comfy boots. They're not waterproof, which is a con, but they're very breathable and they're very comfortable to wear for long periods of time. Now for the final part of the loadout video, I have my Polar Star Fusion Engine Mark 18. I have a red nozzle and a red poppin installed, which gives me maximum air efficiency. I also have an Orga Barrel and a Pro and Flat Hop custom installed by Amped Airsoft, which gives me really good accuracy and really good range. Up top, I have a replica EOTech and a replica PEC box, which provides my light. I also have an MBUS sights in case my EOTech runs out of battery. I also have a suppressor, which is nice and foam filled with some magic erasers. This really quiets down the noise of my gun and doesn't expose my position as easily. As you can see, I also have a flat trigger, which has been modified for a really short trigger pull, which gives me great trigger response. That's it for this loadout video. Remember to check the links in the description and I'll see you in the next video.